Hey everyone, welcome to the follow-up video to the guide on how to get the Wicked Implement Exotic Scout Rifle. As you see, I have it equipped here. Uh, this is going to be focusing on the build and the fight itself to beat Omen, because he's a tough boss since he's on a timer, and that timer is shared with Cole, which is the knight you fight right before him. So once you take out the knight, obviously you have to do that quickly, and then move right into the fight with Omen uh, in the maze, because if you don't and you waste any time outside of that fight, it's going to continue that timer even after like the coal fight if you don't even go up and underneath the uh, little point where you drop your rally it's still going to count that timer the timer really begins when you begin the coal fight itself and you kind of enter the pyramid uh, section to unlock the doors to get to coal once you fall in through so this is just going to cover the build that I used uh, in this case I was running wither horde I was running Amit with incandescent which is not super important, I just wanted an auto so that I could shoot through the shield of any of the um, the Centurions, so that way they, the Taken Centurions couldn't boop you, the shielded ones. And then I was using Briar's Contempt with Reconstruction and Surrounded. Surrounded because in the middle room there's usually a lot of enemies, and I was having my teammates leave them up so that I can get that additional boost. And then we had one Div and another Linear as well. I think he was running... Um, I think he was running Sleeper Simulant. So we had one Sleeper, we had one me doing the Briar's Contempt, and then we had the person running Div. I also was running uh, Sun Bracers to help kill the Minotaurs that are in the maze, uh, so that way I didn't have to waste any ammo, any of my special or heavy on those Minotaurs. So I would just run up to one of the Shielded Centurions, I would weaken him by shooting him through his shield with Amit, and then I would hit him with my melee and then just blanket the whole room in grenades and everything would die, and then I would move back on to the next one if my teammates weren't quick enough to get the next Minotaur. If they weren't, then I would go right back to the center. I would look for a new ad to weaken, hit him with the melee, and then start throwing Sun Bracers uh, grenades at the boss. Uh, as far as my actual build build itself, I uh, was prioritizing resilience and discipline with recovery as a backup. I have the uh, harmonic siphon for solar final blows, as just assets to help me get my super back so I can get a second well during the fight if I needed it. I had momentum transfer to help keep my melee up so that I could get my grenades. Double solar reserves because the uh, ammo is kind of scarce in this fight for some reason. I was running triple solar weapon surge so that if I did get an orb in that room I was able to really uh, hammer the boss and then I was running time dilation to give me more time with that outreach as well. Uh, the artifact isn't that important because there's nothing really tied to solar this season uh, and, and I was the uh, well lock for us. Uh, again, just overview on the weapons with a horde so that way I can catch the boss with it, get additional damage in as he's flying around and, and you know jumping on everybody and then of course he'll drop pools next to other ads that'll help clear the ads as well uh, if we were in a situation where we needed that. Running boss spec on my bear's contempt with reconstruction and improve surrounded. Uh, which has harmonic resonance if you want to try to match that up with like the shotgun for example for me I was just using the wither horde to make, make sure I was getting damage on him he was moving around you only get a minute and a half uh, in the fight and you'll see that here in a little bit if you have any other questions on build or how to tweak your build you can always reach out to me in the comments and I'll be able to kind of help give you my advice on how I would tweak your build and what you were using but from here we're gonna move into the actual fight and I'm gonna start the fight right where you drop the rally if you want to see how to get into the final exotic quest from the deep dive mission I have a separate video on that that you can watch just go ahead and take out check out that video and then that'll get you to the point where you're getting ready to fight the boss Switch in real quick too. So again, the key to this fight is going to be to get to the omen section with as much time as possible. As you can see here, as I'm dropping the rally barricade, we have 8 minutes and 36 seconds. And from there, once you hit the barricade, uh, you can swap out, uh, sorry, the, not the barricade, but the rally flag, you can swap out your loadout and everything as you're getting ready to put that down right before you drop it, which is what I did. I swapped from the arc loadout that I had to the solar one. And as you can see here, I'm shooting the Taken Flanks, weakening him, so that way I can get my grenades going, and I can kind of blanket the room in grenades. Grenades also cure me as part of my build, uh, so that's a major thing as well. And I'll, I'll review that too, uh, as, as far as the supplement to the uh, aspects and fragments, if you happen to need any of the aspects and fragments. 
So uh, what I'm doing now is I'm running to the next Minotaur because my teammates were having trouble finding it. The Minotaur is in the beginning. Before everything starts, tend to be out in the corners on the outer edge of the maze. So as long as you're running along the outer edge and you're staying along the outside, that's where you're going to end up uh, seeing the Minotaurs. And you can see here I was able to find the Minotaur, get my kill so that I can get uh, my grenades going as far as the incinerator snap, and using my Sunbreaker bracers. So once I got that, the other teammate was finishing up the other Minotaur, so I'm going to go help him out. And I'm uh, going to pick him up while also trying to do the same thing, trying to weaken an ad. In this case, there wasn't any ad, so I was just dropping my, uh, my uh, solar grenade to protect us and protect the res. Thankfully, the boss was close to us when I got the kill, so we were able to just turn around and run right to the center where the boss is and start there doing DPS. Right. I moved out the to well. the center of the room and I dropped my uh, my well, so that way we can start DPS. And as you can see there, we've got the div bubble up, and I'm doing my best to try to hit my precision shots anyways, just in case the div bubble drops because the boss will bounce you around. And uh, if he bounces you outside of your uh, area or he hits you with the suppress, you're going to have a hard time moving, you're going to get slowed. And so try your best to stay in the well, try your best to put your back to the wall. Like as you can see, I'm trying to get my back to that little structure behind me. So when he does bounce me, I don't go flying too far. And from here, uh, the timer is still 30 seconds in and we've already got the boss like well below half. So this was a nice run uh, on the first try. Uh, this is my first time playing with these guys, so we actually did really good as a team getting that first uh, DPS in, that first little wave of DPS when you come full heavy and everything's prepared from your rally. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of heavy uh, drop, even from all the ads and stuff, so I really didn't have uh, the best second, and I think we had a third phase too. Uh, another thing to note is that the Minotaurs will spawn in the middle in the second or third phases depending on his health. So if you can't find Minotaurs along the outside, check the middle. They may be spawning all three in the middle, which we got lucky, and this is exactly what happened here. Another thing is to uh, see if you have, if you're coordinating with your team, somebody that can go in viz and get reses, or somebody who's just really resilient and get reses, because there's a lot of damage going on at all times. As you can see, I it was full health almost, and then I just immediately died because... The, uh, Only got the six seconds to work Centurion on that was right in front of them was able to hit me with his arc attack, which does a ton of damage. We got the Minotaurs down? Nice. Yep. Okay. Also, you have I'll like have a 50 well, second like res window, there. so, you know, if you're so pretty low, uh, I would recommend them. telling your teammates, hey, you know, I'm, I'm already three or four okay. seconds in, don't risk it getting the res, just do damage to the boss during the uh, sharp well, time. Now, another thing, too, is that if you die before the, the buff the goes out, I believe, is, is the timing on that. You won't get the Deathly Sharp times three, so you'll be pretty useless, which has happened to one of the, our teammates, I think, on this second run. And so that's that's uh, basically the, uh, the minor thing that you want to make sure you don't do is to die right before you get Deathly Sharp times three, because as you can see there, I had it and I died and came back with it, but if you die before it goes out, then you won't get it and you oh, won't like be able to do damage to the boss. And so here we are struggling with ammo because, again, there's like zero heavy falling, which is great. But uh, I'm still sticking to my strategy of trying to dot him up with Wither Horde, and trying to keep him in a situation where he's taking damage as much as he can. Sure. And uh, from here we're trying to push to get the kill. But we just didn't quite get the, uh, the last little few percentage off. Uh, the boss even got a grab on me, which I really don't usually get grabbed by the Tormentors, but he was just everywhere and he's fast. So here's the final uh, section with the Minotaurs. I was able to get these Minotaurs killed and uh, get us to the DPS phase, and then from there it was just a matter of, you know, dotting him up with, with, with the Horde and, uh, you know, grenades and things. He wasn't really much of an issue once we were able to get this little last section going. His, his health goes pretty fast since he's cooking in my uh, Sunbreaker grenades and the Wither Horde. You know, and we're hitting him with everything that we have. And so that's that's pretty much the whole encounter. Uh, once you get done with the encounter, you'll end up turning around and you'll go up the stairs. You'll walk up to the Darkness Statue and you'll commune with the Darkness Statue. Once you commune with the Darkness Statue, you'll get the Wicked Implement. And don't leave 
that's important. Don't leave the activity right away. You're going to notice that you're going to get a really long timer show up on the top left-hand corner of your screen. And anytime you have a long timer like that, you want to make sure that you uh, explore the area around because that means that there's something else that can be done after the fact in most cases. So there is a uh, little puzzle or like kind of like a hidden crux that you have to find, and there's seven of them. I've got a supplemental video on that, and I'll put that as the uh, video at the end, and I'll also link it in the description. So that way you guys can get that done. That'll get you the words in action triumph. And uh, that's pretty much everything between getting here in the deep dives with the deep dive video, getting this encounter done, and getting the wicked implement, and then doing the words in action. That's everything that, that I can see can be done in here. You still need to go do deep dive and get a tier 7, so that way you can get the catalyst and start working on the catalyst. But other than that, that's pretty much it. If this video helped you guys out, I'd appreciate a subscription from you guys. A like as well will really help me out. Thanks very much for watching to the end. You have a good rest of your day. Really quickly, I just realized in watching the video back that I didn't actually go over the uh, subclass itself. So I'm using Phoenix Dive because you don't get a lot of time to stop and put down a healing rift, especially with the boss bouncing around and suppressing you. So I just went with Phoenix Dive. I feel like that's the best way to get your cure off if you need it. Of course, Incinerator Snap to get the kill because so, it's more reliable in procking the Sun Bracers. I was using Healing Grenade uh, at the end uh, after uh, to float around and find things. So my actual grenade is Solar Grenade. Uh, this is the grenade I was using during the combat section. And then I was using the Touch of Flame with Heat Rises. You can also use Icarus, but I like Heat Rises because I can stay off, off the ground and uh, stay away from some of the flanks and not get bounced around during the boss fight. Ember of Resolve to get cures when my grenades got a kill. Ember of Ashes to get additional damage from the grenades as they apply Scorch to the targets. They'll end up erupting sooner. Uh, and then from here I was getting uh, Ember of Singeing, so as I'm scorching things with my grenades, I'm getting back my uh, Phoenix Dive to stay alive more. And Ember of Torches, just in case I wanted to give us some additional damage, I could use the melee on the boss and give everybody Radiant, and that will help do some additional DPS in a pinch. And so that's the, the last little section of the video, and again, thanks very much for watching to the end. You guys have a good day.